Hi, Scorpios, and welcome to January 2024. Happy New Year. All right, let's get started. This read is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. All right, I'm using the Past Life Oracle deck to get an idea of the thread that comes with us from a past life into this life. Wow, Asia. Ooh, I love that, right? Hinduism, Buddhism, Chinese medicine, all of the things that come in line with the Eastern culture versus the Western culture. Meditation, knowing, like I said, Buddha. Um, studying, studying the culture. Also, the archaic, um, what do I want to say? Archaic connection to the the hist not only the history but also the buildings that still um ancient ancient buildings and the culture of those buildings and you know like the dragon comes into mind real quick of the good luck um coins of good luck those those belief systems that that culture god willing someday becomes synergized with right eastern western especially you know the medicine and natural healing and things of that nature so you may be delving into that or maybe inquisitive right okay let me give one more shelf. Give another shelf for Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and/or Venus. You may um, also. I heard um, you love, you know, or you admire. I should say, you know, furniture, Asian furniture. Um, you may be into sushi and Asian food, things like that, right? Healthy eating, all of that. The cultures, some of taking up some of the cultural aspects of the um, Eastern civilization versus Western. Okay, Scorpio. Judgment, right? Judgment. Judge ye not, right? Do we judge others? And I'm I'm not pulling it. For only, I'm only pulling it for only one reason together at this point is because of the yellow depicted here. Sorry for a little glare there. I've got my candles lit, right? The yellow is taking a pause, which you know is all about the heritage of Buddhism, right? Meditation. Buddha meditated and opened, when you open your eyes, it's the illusion going within. Some of you are going within. Some of you have, have actually in, opened up your pineal gland, right? To un, maybe new belief systems, right? Making no judgments or for some maybe making judgments. Let's see what else is going on. I mean, this has maybe circling around to a new um a new world of beliefs, right? I mean, it's beautiful. Look at this. Look at how luck has you starting the new year off very lucky with the iguana and Asia being the, the good luck. I said dragon, but I mean, it looks, this is not a dragon, but 
you know, an iguana is a symbol of luck. Some of us have what, which is very lucky to put um, lizards, iguanas, little ones here and there in the house, feng shui. Something already blew up, right? Let's look at this, because we can't deny that something in your life has ended, has blown up, has been a contention of perhaps some judgment of self and or others. Let's see what else. But now it's new. It's like, let's move on and try not to look back. But for some of you, you're worried about you're worried about what others think of you. I don't know why, because you have that beautiful Ace of Wands in the middle of your, of your read here, right? It's like, do you worry about what others think? Or do, do you have other belief systems that people judge you on? And who cares, right? This is worry. This is Nine of Swords, yeah? Looking back and worrying about how people perceive you, what they think, how they feel, and you're just like, you know, focus. Let's get on with getting on. Let's get on with a new, the new, and let's move out of the old, right? Some of you have definitely stripped away a lot of the layers of your past actions, past actions and thoughts and beliefs of what has transpired, what you believe about yourself, what you believe about others. Spirit says, let's take one more on the judgment and the nine of swords from this deck for a minute until, before I get another layer over there. Okay, let's see. Okay, so do people, literally, are you kidding me? Do we judge people based on the fact that they, they feel lesser than because they don't have, like, they don't live up to the Joneses? Who cares? Who's judging who? This is someone who feels very uh, left out in the cold, being judged for maybe not having a lot, or I don't even know if this is you or it's someone that you are connected with. We have Taurus, we have uh, Gemini, we have Leo, Aries, Sag, right? And Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, so aside from that, this is crucial to... Who cares about what others think? Do they value us? What do they think about us? I, I'm hoping that you're releasing that. Does someone owe you money? You know, are you... Does it always seem like, you know, there's people owing you money or favors? Or you don't feel like... For some of you, you're not making the money that you should be making, right? Some of you, you know, begging for money, attention, you know, and people, I don't know if you're worried about what people think. And do you worry about others in that same breath? Okay, let's see what's going on. See, look at it's not like you're not working hard. We have, um, it's not like you're not working hard. It's like you're putting in your time. The five and the three is an eight. I feel that it's sporadic though. Sporadic, um, you know, jobs, like, you know, the money comes in, it flows, it goes out, but you're still making money, right? It may not it may not be in a consistent nine to five, say, right? It may be more like 
I'm making, you know, decent money, but I want to supplement my income with other new ideas. And maybe that's what you're thinking about where, whereby you're like, you know what? I've got to focus on saving what I, a certain percentage, right? So that I can make more and not have to worry about my future retiring or, you know, whatever your plans are, right? Maybe a job, you know, has ended for some of you or, you know, in the marketplace of whatever you, what you do for a living has maybe changed, you know, and so, or you're fearful of, wow, you know, they might, they might be reorganizing, they might be changing their, their thoughts and how they're feeling about the workplace or the business. And I have to be on point. So I have to look at new ideas and coming up with new ways to make money in order to continue, right? Whatever lifestyle you're used to. Simplicity, I would think. Ace of, yeah. And look at two aces. Are you kidding me right now? Wow. Putting in the work. Working on yourself. Some of you are definitely, those pentacles are about working on yourself, your image, your truth, self-love, and continuing to, to prosper. Wow, that's beautiful. Two aces right in the middle. Making sure that you love what you do is crucial to the growth of what you're doing in business, whatever brand you're selling, what, ha what have you, whatever service. You have to love what you do. I feel you're also very much loving your own self and working on yourself, even though it's been difficult for whatever reason, maybe because, you know, you had the peanut gallery and the judgment card. We'll go back to that, but let's keep going. And let's go, right? Let's keep going. Let's focus. Now those those doorways literally are hearts. Two hearts could be that beat is one. I'm not sure if this is something about love or just a new uh, a new start a new business, maybe new love coming in. I love that. Let's see. Wow, there it is. New love coming in, right? A love relationship. Okay, but what are you worried about? Let's continue over here for a minute. Because let's not forget underneath the two of wands with the six of cups. There's worry there. You can see them. Okay. So let's get another card. It could be a new love or someone you've already had a very romantic love with. Look at that. We have Libra, justice, wanting justice. Do you feel like something isn't fair? Do you feel like this relationship is fair? Or what are you worried about? People judging you about what you could or couldn't give in a relationship? How you handled certain situations? Um, Something about, well, for some of you, maybe justice of the peace. Justice of the peace. And when I thought of marriage, I thought, hmm, I'm not feeling that. I feel justice of one's getting their peace. 
of mind. That's what I think this is. Getting your, having a peace, peace of mind with what has happened, what's gone down in love, in passionate love, like having peace of mind. Let's get another one on that. Wow. Having faith. Some of you, yes, definitely getting married. Maybe going to justice of the peace and getting married. Right? Starting a whole new life. Having faith that for some of you, looking back, having faith that whatever's happened or transpired is obviously a blessing, a blessing in disguise, right? Whatever has happened, okay? Let's go to the vice versa deck <clears throat> and see what's going on here. Wow, Scorpios. We got a lot of stuff going on here, don't we? The two aces, though, I mean, you know, that's like the best. It's like a new beginning. It could be a new love relationship. It could be some of you have been working hard to get something going in the department of love so that you don't repeat, right? Or fear others judging you. I don't know. That's so strong for me. Let's go to these two cards, okay? The Nine of Swords with the Judgment. Let's just see what this is. Do you feel, I don't know, maybe someone judged you for what happened, for what's happened, hanging around, waiting. Someone may have waited. Someone, okay, so there's two scenarios here. Some of you have been hanging around for a long time or vice versa, whomever this is, waiting for someone to literally see them in a new light, in a, in a new light of a new day, for sure. Because the justice card is here, don't forget. So some of others of you needed to take time to think about what part you've played in a relationship, how much effort you've put in, and vice versa, right? And almost to a fault. Where it's kind of put someone in limbo, so to speak. Right? This makes me... Makes me think of the tree pose in yoga, right? Some of you do yoga. <clears throat> and the tree pose is exceptionally good for it, for your body and meditation. Okay, so let's go back to being on point here. So some of you are thinking that you needed, it took you time to change your perspective about how things went down, how others may be viewed the situation or have been viewing it. Um, someone may have been stuck for a while hoping that something would come of this relationship. So let's, let's get two more cards on that, right? Waiting around. There's a lot of waiting around right here. A lot of waiting. It's like someone planted these seeds and what effort did one make? Do you know what I mean? Was there not a whole lot of effort here going on? It's like, okay, I seem to feel, I f seem to think that the effort was not, was kind of like one-sided. Someone started making like, this is, this is half of 10 of pentacles. So t what, how much time did someone spend with you and the effort to be with you, to hang with you, um, 
versus how much value that you placed in the relationship as well, right? Is someone judging another because the, the relationship may have ended based upon, you know, the fact that someone didn't put in a much time and or effort? And, you know, I mean, come on, let's be serious here. How much time are you going to wait around, Scorpio, for a commitment, a vow of sacred love, which is right here? This is sacred, sacred love without question. So, you know, so someone can only wait around for so long, you know, to see some action going on. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, and this guy's reversed. So, someone may be judging or being judged for greed. Like Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, this guy reversed is greedy. You could be waiting around for a payout or you're waiting for money to come in, but someone's greedy, right? And this case, there could be a case whereby it's going to court. Well, I'm going to check that out. Let me see what, why is Virgo Taurus Capricorn reversed? This could be who you're dealing with. The devil. Ooh. Oh my God, Scorpio. You're dealing with someone very greedy, judgmental, critical. Someone you were chained and or bound to. Right? Someone may already be in a in a bonded marriage that they can't get out of. Maybe you were waiting for that to happen, but it's not. Let's look for, like, the devil. What's going on with the devil here? Someone freed themselves. And we have an eagle and a hawk. So someone decided to free themselves from toxicity, and it ended. Something ended. A relationship, the money coming in, people are being judged harshly. Maybe people found out that something was going on something was going on. I don't like the I don't like Virgo Taurus Capricorn reversed at all. That's an with this, someone's been chained and bound someone finally got away. This could be um, Gemini, Virgo, I'm sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, here and here. Someone thought they could, maybe someone was in it just for the money and what they could get out of, right? Here's lack and that's abundance, but still lack. Someone needs money or does, you know, like, has, has spent money foolishly, has not utilized their time or their energy of money. There you go. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is the one who leaves. But they're leaving with someone, right? There's someone in the boat with them. Could be their spirit guide, or it could be this Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Someone could have been in a third party relationship, Scorpios, and um, we have six, seven, and eight. We have five, six, seven, and eight. 
Mm -hmm. Nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have two aces. This is a done deal, Scorpio. I don't know if this is a business connect with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a love situation of someone who's married or and or has already been is is married, has been married, and is not getting married. Okay, I want I want to put these here so you could see them. I do want, I know that I asked for a clarifier on the devil, which is the eight of swords reversed. Someone literally freed themselves from a toxic relationship, marriage, bond with someone, either a third party or a business. It could be a person in business because this could be like a CEO, an owner, Someone freed themselves from toxic, um, a toxic relationship. Yeah. Let me get, um, I, I do want to get another couple cards on the devil. Please. Look at that. Virgo. Something, some light is being cast upon what someone's doing, right? There's judgment here and justice. Let's get another card. So the hermit, someone is taking inventory about what's going on and what's happened and they're not sharing. Oh my God, someone's been doing something like shady. This is shady uh, business, ethics. I heard ethics, Mis misuse of power for sure. Owing people money here and there and everywhere. Not paying up. Someone might be taking someone to court because of it. And the progression of three, four, five, three, four, no, no, excuse me, I digress. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the aces. It's been like a buildup of bad choices. being tied to someone who's who's got that toxic like someone may gamble, someone may cheat, someone may tell s stories that, you know, just to appease others. They're not, you know, it's not for real. I feel like when you look back you're like, in hindsight, I'm like, wow, I get it now. This person was greedy. This person just wanted everything for themselves. I'm not sure if someone's married. Let's just ask, is this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn married or involved in a third party? What's going on? So, wow. Well, it looks like the scales are being balanced is what I just heard. Right? Scales, karma, karma is coming back to someone. Oh my gosh, judgment again. Karma is coming back to someone, no doubt. Look at these angels. You have three angel, angels, uh, uh, angel wings. Red, gold, yellow, and yellow. And I mentioned that first in the read of the yellow. So, and the yellow means pause, is a pause. Because someone needs to come to terms with the fact that 
right? They've been waiting and waiting for something to come through, be that a job, money, security, stability. Someone's being judged for not paying up, not having money. Maybe they're a gam they gamble money away. And someone's not showing their true selves without question. Someone's totally going within right now to find their own truth. It's, I don't feel it's the, it says Virgo here, right? Or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, which is you. You may have now realized that someone could have been a snake, that you didn't see it, or maybe you've known it. Because there's a snake here. There's a snake here, right there. Someone's like, someone plays one with the other, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's move on to the love oracle because we all have to find out what's going on for love. But I have to tell you, someone... Someone's karma is going to be handed to them. That's all I can tell you. Not yet. You know what I mean? True love. Wow. So someone's in a true love commitment. They're already married. Someone's married. And someone wants a reconciliation. Is the reconciliation with a married couple, a married person? or someone new, or someone from your past. Soulmate. Someone's karma is being handed to them, and now they're looking back and going within and re-evaluating instead of maybe at first, you know, at first glance, you know, what happens is um, after something ends or even before it ends, people start judging, there's talking, there's a lot of chit chat. And then time passes, as time passes, one realizes the true nature of a, maybe that Ace of Cups. I really love this person. Wanting to reconcile because you know that you've learned a lot of lessons from this soulmate. So I feel like you've definitely, the hermit and the Buddha are the same. You've taken some inventory, Scorpio. You've taken a time to, to really go within. This and, and this. To really figure out, right? to see the light of a new day, and to take your time. And the angels have been helping you to see the truth of a situation, right? Someone's going to get their karma pay, paid in spades, I heard. Paid in spades. All right, Scorpio, not a bad reading at all. I feel the angels are definitely playing a lot of roles that's their job right you have three angels here look these are your guardian angels these are your spirit guides hold on these are passed on loved ones that are that are literally calling your name not to cross over just to help you. You have people helping you on the other side. People meaning souls, spirit is helping you on the other side. The Trinity. The Trinity. To get enlightened to the truth of what's going on that you have been so afraid of 
saying for yourself. Does that make sense? And or vice versa. All right. I send you guys a lot of love, much light, and um, I'll see you soon. Connect, please, by commenting below and letting me know if this resonates with you. Take care.